Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be talking about grips, more specifically the grip for the Nikon Z8. In front of me I've got a Z6 II with its grip attached, which would also be the same as a Z7 II. We then have a Z8 with its grip attached, and then we have a Z9, which always has its grip attached, you can't remove it. Also interesting to note that it looks like the Z9 is the smallest of the lot, which is interesting. Um, but we're going to talk about the grip for the Z8 specifically, compare it to the grip from the Z6 to Z7 to, and also compare it to the Z9 and figure out which one of these might be the best setup if you're after a full gripped body, or you might just be interested in Z8 and you might be interested in seeing how the Z8 works with a grip. So we're going to talk about all of that in today's video. So first of all, when it comes to comparing the two removable grips, the grip for the Z6 and Z7 II, and then the grip for the Z8, if you looked at them on a table and you didn't really look at them in that much detail, and in fact, even if you did look at them in detail, <laughs> there's not that much difference. Um, there's only a few minor differences where some of the edges don't quite line up and some of the buttons and the locking pins don't quite line up. So... It's very, very close between the two. They are very similar. The buttons are the same. The button layout is the same. So if you've got a grip from a Z6 II and a Z7 II, and you're wondering what the grip from the Z8 feels like or looks like, it's pretty much identical. So just something to keep in mind. The grip for the Z6 II and the Z7 II is called an NBN11, and the grip for the Z8 is an NBN12. So a follow-on model shares a lot. There's a lot in common between these two grips. Obviously one is specifically designed for the Z8 and one is designed specifically for Z6s and Z7s. I will say at this point that they are not interchangeable. So you cannot go and buy the Z6 II, Z7 II grip and put that on a Z8. It just won't fit. The tripod mount and the locking pins are in a slightly different place. And also there are some extra cutouts on the Z8 grip that means that it's just not going to take the older grip so just something to be aware of. So you have to make sure that you have the dedicated N12 grip for the Z8 and the dedicated N11 grip for the Z62 and Z72 so just be aware of that don't get those two confused because they do look very similar but they are ever so subtly different and you cannot interchange them they do not work with um, the varying camera bodies. So what does this NBN12 do specifically what does this grip specifically allow you to do? Well very much like the older grip, it has controllable buttons. So we have a rear dial and a front dial. We also then have a lockable shutter button on the top of the grip. And then we also have an unmarked function button. So because it's unmarked, you can assign that to whatever you want, whether you want that to be ISO, white balance, exposure, whatever it is. On the back of the grip, we have our AF on button and our AF toggle as well, allowing us to move our focusing points around or activate our autofocus with the AF on button if we want to. There is also a simple tightening dial to lock the grip in place. So you can tighten the dial towards the body to lock it into the body. There isn't like a specific lock switch. It's just based on the tightness of that dial. I've not had any major concerns with the grip loosening over the past couple of months. It's been working perfectly fine. So I wouldn't see that being a problem in the future. We also then have two small lights and they'll say A and B. And these A and B lights relate to the batteries being charged in the grip. So one really useful thing I do like about the grip is that you can just use this as a charger. So it will let you slide in two batteries into the grip. You can slide those two batteries in in the sliding tray and you can charge those batteries in the grip through USB-C. The grip itself does have a USB-C port on the side of the grip and you can charge those two batteries in the grip without needing to carry a battery charger specifically. You can obviously still charge your batteries in the camera if you wanted to, but I like the grip as being like almost like a, a dual charger, a USB-C dual charger. So it will light up the A and B lights on the back of the grip to symbolize whether it's charging battery A or battery B. That sliding tray when that pops out, you've got two batteries that sit in that tray. And these batteries are hot swappable, but only in the A segment. So the way that it works is if you make sure that both batteries are fully charged, when battery A dies, 
you can swap the battery A out and put a new one in, and when it's swapping out for that new battery, the camera will automatically switch to battery B. So, especially if you're recording for extended periods of time, or if you're shooting time lapse and things like that, and you're in a situation where you need to swap a battery out, but you don't want to interrupt recording or anything, then this grip will allow you to hot swap those batteries. Particularly useful if you're recording 8K for extended periods of time as well. Just be aware that you have to make sure that both batteries are fully charged. If that B battery isn't charged, it's not gonna work. So just be aware of that. But the A battery is hot swappable with this small yellow tab. You give that yellow tab a push, battery pops out, you can then swap in another battery. So with the tray in, there's two separate clips. There's a yellow clip, which is your hot swap clip, and there's a gray clip, which removes the entire tray. So you can literally keep the tray in the holder and then you just swap out battery A by using the yellow clip to do so and just pop another battery back in. The external door of the grip is also removable as well. So if you wanted to remove that door for whatever reason, you can do. Um, there's a small gasket around the door, so some weather sealing. It is a weather sealed grip. One thing that's also worth noting, because you have two batteries that sit in the grip, you cannot have a, a third battery in the body. So this will fill into the camera body. The Z8 connectors are not on the bottom of the camera body. The Z8 connectors are in the battery cavity. So the grip will fill in that space. It slides in, you then lock it in place using the dial on the back of the camera. And you'll then have two batteries in the grip. You do not have a battery in the camera body. So just be aware of that. Especially if you come from D850, something like that, where you've got a D850 grip, where you, that would work slightly differently because the contacts would be on the bottom of the body. In this instance, the contacts are in the battery cavity of the body itself. That does mean that you'll need to remove the battery door on your Z8. And there is a nice little neat space for that battery door to go into your grip so that you're not going to lose it. So do make sure that you put the little battery door into that space on the grip. It clicks in, it's not going to fall out. It's kept in there nice and safe. So when you're using that grip, you're not going to lose that door. It is also worth mentioning that when you have this grip attached, it does mean that the Z8 with its grip is bigger than a Z9. So for some of you, that might be a good thing because it just feel like a larger physical grip in the hand. If you're one of those people that still really like the size or the bigger size of a D5 or a D6 or a D850 with its grip, and for whatever reason you found that the Z9 was still too small, I have spoke to some people that have said that the Z9 is a bit too small for what they want to do. So if you are one of those people, I personally really like the grip on a Z9. I like the size of the Z9. But if you are one of those people where you think, I need something bigger, the Z8 with the grip does feel physically bigger in both grip orientations. So it, this might be something that's worth looking at. But for those of you that want the smallest kind of body, if you want a small, full gripped body, technically the Z9 is smaller. Obviously, the Z8 without its grip is smaller again. So it just comes down to if you're going to be using that grip or not. So as a vertical grip, it does its job. It allows us to use vertical buttons. It gives us a vertical shutter button. It gives us a vertical AF on button, the toggle. It fits quite nicely with the ergonomics of the body. It does make it easier to hold if you did want just a vertical grip as well. We also get the benefit of being able to hot swap batteries. So if you need to use batteries one after another. If you're really draining that battery life, you can hot swap batteries and keep the camera running with this grip. It does a lot of things well. However, there are things about this grip that I just wish were better, or I just wish that the, the grip actually physically did. So a couple of those things in the fact that I don't think that when it's attached to the Z8, I don't think it looks particularly pretty is pretty is probably the wrong word um it doesn't it just doesn't seem to really kind of flow with the lines of the camera body so the camera body is longer than the grip is there's kind of a little bit of a dip towards the end of the grip so it doesn't really sit flush on the end of the camera body on this side um on the grip side it does sit flush and there's, there's not really going to be anything that interrupts with your hand it feels quite nice um but on this other body side it is just a little bit strange that the camera body extends further than the grip does and on the back of the grip as well, again, the camera body extends beyond the grip. So it makes the camera body look thicker than the grip does. So it just, just looks a bit strange. It doesn't look the best. Um, it doesn't line up 
in with the camera body and such. That, again, that's not going to affect anything massively. It's just how it looks. And some people won't even care about that. But I thought it was worth mentioning. Also, again, it's a very plasticky feeling grip. The top plate of the grip is a kind of a hard plastic cover. It does kind of fit in with the plastic around the camera body, but it, there's not really a, a big open space of plastic on the body like there is on this grip. So it, I wouldn't say it goes as far as to say it feels cheap. The rubber on the grip feels nice. It, as to handle it feels nice. It doesn't feel cheap. It's just, I feel like they could have done a bit more with the space on the top of this grip up here. And that is the same complaint that I had with the Z6 II and the Z7 II grip. Um, I just probably might have designed the top of the grip a little bit differently. I'm, you know, I'm not a product designer. Who, who cares what I think? But it's just one of the things that I've found. I suppose the biggest thing that was really disappointing to me um, when I first got hold of this grip is that you cannot use the bigger batteries from the Z9. So if you have a Z9 and you are hoping that you could use the bigger battery from a Z9 in the grip of the Z8, you can't do that. The only batteries that you can use in the Z8 grip are the Z8 batteries, which are the ENEL15s. You cannot use the ENEL18s. I'm disappointed by that because obviously with D850, you could use the bigger batteries from the D5 and the D6, but that is not the case with the Z8, unfortunately. You can only use those 18 batteries. It is what it is. There's no way of changing that. So don't think that there'll be like a new tray or anything like that that can, can hold this battery because that battery will not physically fit into the grip. So it's just, it's just it's, it's not going to work. So that's never going to be the case. The, the only way that they'd be able to do that would be to make an entire new grip. So I, I don't think that's going to be something that happens. So that's really my biggest disappointment because I would have loved to have been able to use these bigger batteries in that Z8 grip. I suppose, though, it's there's going to have to be things somewhere that separate or segregate the Z8 from the Z9, right? There's got to be something somewhere. And internally, because they're identical, because they do everything the same internally in terms of video recording and image quality and focusing, I feel like Nikon have decided that, that one of the things that they're going to segregate between these two camera bodies is the full grip experience. And I feel like that kind of full grip camera body experience is still better with the Z9. You get the bigger battery, you get the full grip inbuilt, you get more buttons. It actually still makes it a small camera body, even though it has a full grip attached to it. The Z8 being bigger doesn't quite line up on the sides. Yeah. I think I think that's one of the key things if you were trying to figure out if you wanted a, a Z8 or a Z9, if you want to use your camera as a full gripped camera, I would probably push you towards a Z9. But if you're only going to use the grip every now and again, or you wanted to use the grip as a battery charger, then I think the the grip does a really good job as being just a temporary every now and again grip. I think if you were going to attach a grip to it full time, you're probably in a situation where you'd benefit more from a Z9 than a Z8. Obviously, if you're not using that grip, then the Z8 makes more sense because it is smaller and lighter if you want the smaller and lighter body. It's nice. It works. It's, it feels really good in the hand. So ergonomically, it feels great. Um, there's just a couple of things that I wish were better, like taking the bigger batteries, for example. But Okay, well, I hope that you found this first look at the Z8 grip, the NBN12, useful. If you have any questions about this grip, if there's anything else you want me to test on it, then please do let me know. Um, but I think I've covered pretty much most of the questions that I think most of you have within this video. But if there are any, do let me know down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.